Hello again everybody. I have another fly for you to try. This is called the Golden Retriever. Golden Retriever is a very simple fly to tie. Uh, you can tie it in multiple colors. You can tie it in an olive, in a pearl, in a, a black, pink, uh, multiple colors. Just a great little fly. Only need a few items, or a few materials to tie this fly. First you're going to need a size 10 3x long streamer hook of your choice whatever your preference is for hooks, as long as it's a size 10, 3X long. You're going to need 5 30 seconds gold bead. Again, your preference, whether you like the uh, tungsten beads, brass beads, um, as long as it's gold, 5 30 seconds. You're going to need some tan marabou um, or the color of your choice for whatever you're going to tie. Today I'm going to be using tan. You're going to need a regular size Estes. Um, today I'm going to be using the peach color. Peach color is my favorite color. Um, you'll see in a second here on the camera that it just has a really nice gold color to it. And when it's in the water, it looks fantastic. Um, so a regular size peach Estes. And you're going to need some .025 lead. This is a weighted fly. Um, so you're going to need a... Any, any standard off-the-shelf .025 lead. And the last thing you're going to need is a um, red flat wax nylon. I'm going to be using the Danville's 210 denier flat wax nylon today. I already have some of that spooled on to my Norvice automatic bobbin. I already have a gold bead placed on to my hook. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and clamp this hook into my Norvice. I really like this vise for this fly. It just works great. Alright, once I have that secured in my vise, I'm going to go ahead and start my thread. I'm going to go ahead and start that thread at the bead. I'm going to run it back a few wraps before I remove the waste piece. Once I have the waste piece out of the way, I like to go ahead and move the tip of my automatic bobbin right up to the hook, hook shank, and then I just rotate the Norvice and run my thread right down to about stop around anywhere between the hook point and the barb of the hook is fine. From this point I like to go ahead and start my lead. I run that thread base because I think it it gives the lead something to hang on to and it keeps it from spinning. Um, I start my lead right at the point of the hook and then I start to run it up towards the eye of the hook and up towards the bead once I get to the bead, I go ahead and break that wire off. Then I come in and I grab the, the tail piece where I started. And you can either break that off or snip that off. Depends on how long, how long of a piece you have. From here, all I like to do is I like to run that, give it a little twist, and, and, and snug it right up to the bead. Neaten everything up. And now you're ready to go. From here, I like to take and build up a thread dam right behind the lead. Once you're there, once you got a satisfactory dam, I like to take and run my thread down through the wire. And I can bring that, bring that thread back and forth a couple times to cover up my lead. And you really don't have to be picky about this at this particular point because you're going to run your thread back down. I stop my thread at about where the hook barb is. In between the point and the barb is fine. I go ahead and grab my, my marabou feather. I take my marabou feather and all I do is sharpen that up and gather it up in between my fingers. I want it to be a length that's about a hook shank in length to a hook shank and a half. From there, that looks pretty good to me. I like to lay it right in on the side, then I come in with my thread and I just catch it, secure it to the top of the hook shank. Sometimes you get it, everything caught up in there just a little bit. Give it a few more wraps. Once I'm satisfied with the way everything's sitting and, and, and it's sitting on top, go ahead and grab my scissors and I come in and I remove my waist, my waist from the feather. At this point, I like to put my finger on top. I like to go ahead and take a few more tight wraps to secure that marabou down and build up the body 
between the lead wraps and where I tied in my marabou. Come back down to the tail and I'll let my thread hang again. At this point I go ahead and grab my Estes. I peel off a little bit of the sparkle material to, to expose the, the core. It's actually a white thread. I lay that right in on the side and once I catch that I take a few nice tight wraps and secure that core. From this point I start working my way forward. This is where I take the opportunity to cover up the rest of my lead and any fuzzies that may be just dangling there. Again it's not real important that it be totally clean because once you wrap the Estes on there it hides a lot. From here I like to go ahead and throw in a half hitch. I throw in my half hitch and what I do is I take my Norvice automatic bobbin and I slide it over onto the thread post. Um, from here I go ahead and grab my Estes. I take one full wrap at the back and then I just start working it forward with about a sixteenth of an inch between wraps. Just spin your Norvice and if you got a little screw up there back up and fix it until you're satisfied. From here I come right up to the eye or to the back of the bead with my Estes. I come in here, I like a full looking head so I, I come in with my thread, I give it one wrap, I give it a second wrap and then I move my thread to the front. Give it another wrap. Once I'm satisfied I reach in with my scissors and trim off my Estes. From this point forward, I like to pull everything back. I like to push everything back as best I can. And then I come in with my thread, give it a couple nice securing wraps. Come in with my whip finisher. Give it one, two, three. Pull it nice and tight. And I like to come in with a second whip. Pull everything back, one, two, three and then pull that tight as well. Once that's all set, come in with my scissors and trim off my thread. At this point all I like to do is I just like to rough up the Estes a little bit with my fingernail, make sure it's all a, a really good shape, make sure my tail's setting where I want it. You can apply head cement to your thread wraps if you like, if you prefer. I've never had one come undone, especially when I was doing a double whip finish on it. Excellent fly. I can't say enough about this fly. It's It's been really, really effective for me. I really think you should have a, a few in your box if you're going to go up north uh, for landlocked salmon, for any type of trout, rainbow trout, brook trout. Just, a again, a great, effective fly. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully I'll have some more up. Uh, I apologize for the camera work, but I'm still working on that. Um, hope to see you on the water. Thanks for watching. See you next time.